What is a free rider, and what is the free rider problem? Can a free rider possibly lead to market failure? In economics, the free rider problem occurs when an individual or group receives the benefit of a good but avoids paying for it. Why does this happen, and what makes this a problem? The free rider problem is most commonly seen with public goods. Public goods are neither excludable nor rivalrous. That is to say that people cannot be prevented from using these goods, and one person's use of these goods does not diminish another person's ability to use them. Take the military, for example. National security is a public good. It is both non-excludable and non-rivalrous. In order to have goods such as this, citizens must pay taxes. These taxes are used by the government to finance the military. However, there are some people who have not paid these taxes and avoid doing so. These people have not paid their share of the cost of having a military, but still benefit from the protection the military provides. These people are known as free riders. Should the number of free riders rise, this may result in an insufficient provision of a good or service, and ultimately lead to market failure. Some possible solutions for the free rider problem include tax laws, conscience, and privatization. Should the government enforce the payment of taxes, this ensures that all who receive the benefit from a good pay their fair share towards the cost. Appealing to a citizen's sense of morality emphasizes that we are each obliged to do our part. This is important, as promoting a cooperative disposition increases the likelihood that each person will contribute equally, and thus reduces the free rider problem. If all else fails, and the market is failing due to an excessive amount of free riders, a good may have to become privatized, limiting the access of the good to a smaller group. And there you have it, the free rider problem.